Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, The Budgeting Biologist. My name is Brittany. I do videos on cash stuffing, budgeting, and a few other things that I have planned coming up here on the channel. If you're new, thank you so much for stopping on my little old video. And if you're returning, thank you as always for coming back. So before we get into today's video, I just want to make one quick announcement. I am at around 150 subscribers and I just want to say thank you so much for all of you that have subscribed to the channel, watched the video, liked or commented. I really appreciate it and I am planning on doing a giveaway in the near future, whether that's for my 100 subscriber goal or 200, but I do have a giveaway in the works soon, so please stay tuned for that. All right, so now on for today's video, it is October 15th, so smack dab in the middle of the month, and I'm going to be doing a full um, mid-month budget check-in. And um, as you probably see in the title, this is coming after I've had a little bit of a budget setback this month, but I'll talk about that in a little bit. So let's go ahead and get started. So well, here I have this calendar of all of how I'm tracking my spending in just a really simplified way right now. And um, I talked about this in my last video, but recently I have been tracking my days that I'm spending versus the days that I'm not spending. Um, in addition to my net worth at the beginning of the be at the beginning of the month. So, so far for the month of October, I have spent money on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight days. And um, the days I spent money, I just put a little dollar sign. And the days I don't spend money, I write a heart so or draw a heart. So I haven't spent money one, two, three, four, five, six, seven days. So eight days I spent some money, um, seven days I did not. And how I basically do this is what I count as spending is basically out of my variable expenses or my sinking funds. Not like if it's a bill that I have to pay no matter what. Um, spending for me is my variable expenses or my sinking funds. So let's talk about this budget setback, guys. So here on Monday, as you can see, there's a bunch of dollar signs because I had to make an unexpected purchase. Um, my personal laptop that I've had since I was in college, and just for context, I graduated from undergrad in 2012. I've had that computer at least since my senior year of college, so it's been almost 10 years, finally died. Um, and I had said it in a previous video that I knew I was going to have to get a new laptop soon, but I was really hoping that she was going to make it until next year so I could save up a little bit more money. And the universe always has a way of making things happen. And it died like literally last week. So I do have a personal laptop for work, but um, and it's a pretty powerful computer. It's like a top of the line MacBook Pro but I didn't want to put personal stuff on my work computer. That's just, that's just not good practice. So <sighs> I also teach on my personal computer as well, including to basically running my YouTube channel and some other stuff as well. So I just bit the bullet and got a new computer. Um, that I'm gonna put a clip in of what I got. I got a MacBook Air, one of the new ones. I'll put a clip of it somewhere in this video. So yeah, that was quite the unexpected purchase that I made this past Monday, but it is what it is. This is why we save. And what I'm going to be doing today is going through each category in my budget to figure out where I can cut back spending in order to pay that um, big purchase off. All right, so here are my sinking funds in this binder. And as you can see, my electronic envelope is completely empty. I took the entire $223 and put that towards the MacBook purchase. Um, so we're working with $0 on this envelope right now. And um, the rest of the envelopes um, in my sticky funds, I have not touched um, since my cash stuffing video from two videos back at this point. So we're not going to go through these, but just know my poor electronics envelope is now completely empty. 
but the good news is that um my partner did say that you know he you know feels bad for me and that he would go ahead and either get me an ipad or kindle for christmas so i'm probably going to get a kindle at this point just because i did just buy a brand new like macbook i don't really need an ipad so i will still be getting a kindle and shout out to him for always coming through <laughs> for getting me one um for christmas this year i really appreciate it so zero dollars in electronics right now but all right let's go on and look at my variable expenses for the month and this is where i'm going to try to cut back for the second part of the month so i can put that money towards uh, paying off my macbook and i won't lie guys i have not been doing a good job of <laughs> Um, tracking my actual transactions the, the first half of the month. Um, I just been really busy and just haven't had time. I have been good about, you know, like keeping, you know, only using cash or, you know, making sure that I immediately take out the cash put towards my credit card. But like what my actual transactions are, that was another goal of mine to actually track individual transactions. I have not done a good job of that at all this month, but it is what it is. So we'll you know, hopefully I'll do better the second half of the month. So first off, I have a bunch of change in here that I'm not going to bother and bore you guys and count on camera. And someone did suggest it in one of my previous videos that I get a coin counter and I have ordered one. So hopefully that will be here soon. And then you guys won't have to look at me drop change and fumble to count change on camera. So that hopefully will be coming soon. All right, so let's start off with household. Household for the month, I'm pretty sure I started off with $15. And right now, currently, I have 13. So I'm just going to grab a pin here, marker. So I have 13 in household halfway through the month. And this is one of the categories I'm probably going to try not to spend out of for the second half of the month and then put it towards my MacBook purchase because I have toilet paper, um, paper towels, dish soap, all that good stuff. So like, I really don't need anything. So I'm hoping that by the end of the month, this will still be at $13. And I think I should be able to do that. All right. So the next envelope is eating out. And I started the month with 75 and currently I have 20, 40, 41, 42, and then a bunch of change. But I'm just gonna say that I have $42 because I'm not gonna count the change on camera, hence why I need to get one of those change counters. But this is also another envelope that I'm gonna try to not spend the rest of this money. Um, I did just get Mexican food for dinner tonight. You know, it's Friday, I wanted to treat myself. Um, but I'm going to try to hold back and actually not spend any of the rest of my eating out fund for the rest of the month. So I guess what I'm going on is not a savings challenge, but a spending challenge is what I think I'm going to try to do for the rest of the month. So I could put all this money, have more rollover money to go towards my computer purchase. Gas and parking has five dollars in it and I started off with 25 and I don't need gas anytime soon I know gas prices are kind of going up everywhere and I feel really bad for everyone I know that has to like drive really far to get to work I pretty much take the bus everywhere so and my institution pays my bus fare so that is one positive thing that I have um and I basically only get one take of gas a month and that lasts me the entire month so I know that five dollars is going to be there at the end of the month Alcohol, of course, is at zero. And also um, another thing about today, today marks my one month sobriety challenge. I have not had a drop of alcohol since September 15th. I am really, really proud of myself. It has saved me money. Um, I've been sleeping better, all that good stuff. So I'm gonna keep the challenge going. Um, I probably will break it next week. I am going on a trip with some of my friends from school to uh, visit one of our other friends up in the Northeast. So we are going on like a wine tour. So I'm gonna break it then, but um, for this past month, like it's been working out really well. So what I was thinking was that when I do start drinking alcohol again, I'm just gonna reserve it for the weekend. No more drinking during the week just the weekends, keeping it there, um, and that will drastically reduce my cost as well. So zero on alcohol right now. 
Oh, and I didn't write down gas, but I have $5 in gas and $0 in alcohol. Spending is a category that I'm not going to try to change because um, this is pretty much going to be my only spending money for the rest of the month. And leftover, I have 15 and I'm pretty sure I started with 40 and I have uh, 15 left. So hopefully I can make this $15 last for the rest of the month. And for me, spending is just like if I want to get a candy bar or the vending machine at my job, which I really need to stop doing. Um, and then I can probably actually save this 15 too, because that's pretty much the only thing I use this money for, or like getting a coffee during the middle of the day, even though I already had coffee when I woke up. Like, But I'm not going to limit myself on this category because I am on the other ones, but you get what I'm saying. All right, so giving is another category I'm obviously not going to limit. I'm going to try to give away the entire um, value. And I have leftover so far, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I started off with $10. So uh, $10 at the beginning of the month. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to be able to give the rest of this away. All right, next is personal. So this is another category where I'm really going to try to not spend anything else out of this envelope. And I think I will be able to do it because um, I like don't need anything. I just stocked up on like toothpaste and body and body soap and lotion. Like I don't really need anything out of this category. So I'm hoping that I'll be able to have at least, um, you know, maybe $40 or so left at the end of the month that I can put towards my computer purchase. So I have 55 and a bunch of change that I'm not going to count. I'm just going to say I have 55. And I started off in this envelope with 100. Okay, next is date night and left over in date night I have $25 and I'm pretty sure I started off with 75. And we'll just see how the rest of the month goes with this. I know we're not going anywhere tomorrow. We're just going to stay in and watch you. The, the, the show you on Netflix tomorrow and probably like order some cheap food. So I definitely probably won't be spending money from here. Definitely, probably, y'all. Get it together, girl. I probably won't be spending money from here tomorrow. And I probably, and I'm definitely not going to be spending money next weekend because I'm going on a trip. So that really just leaves this money for the weekend of Halloween. And we'll see what we're doing for Halloween. I know one of my friends is having a party. And then one of my partner's friends is also having a party. So. We'll see how it goes, but I don't think I'm going to have to spend a lot of money out of this the rest of the month. Laundry, I currently have the full $20. I'm sorry, I forgot to write down how much I had in date night. I can't remember that quickly, but I had $25 left in date night. Okay, sorry, back to laundry. So laundry, I still have the full $20, but I'm gonna be spending this. I need to do laundry before I leave for this trip. Um, so I'm definitely gonna be spending some of this, but hopefully I have at least $10 left over that I can roll over to um, my computer purchase. Key groceries. Um, this is another, this is a category that I'm not going to be obviously limiting myself on. If I'm not going to be eating out that much, I have to eat somewhere else. So I'm going to be cooking pretty much the rest of the month. So leftover in groceries, I have 50, 50, 70, 80, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, and there's some change. So we'll just say I have $89 left in groceries. All right, and then the last envelope that I have is credit card, and this is the money that's going to go back to pay off my credit card. You know, when, pe when people do cash unstuffings, they basically take their money out of their ca cash envelopes and use to pay their credit card back. I do that, like, usually immediately when I make a purchase, so I'm just going to count that up. Um, but first, I'm going to take out the money that is going towards my MacBook, so that is... Um, two hundred and twenty three dollars one two three that was in my um 
electronics envelope. And then I'm gonna take out this additional $50 that came from my rollover from September. And I'm just gonna set that aside for right now. Okay, so the money that is going back towards my credit card purchases for my variable expenses is 20, 40, um, 60, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 125, 126, 127, 128, 129, 130. Gonna count that one more time. Yeah, I know I'd be off of my math sometimes, but 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 125, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 30. So $130 is going towards my variable expenses. So I'm just gonna set this off to the side really quick so we can figure out how much money I need to actually, you know, get out of, you know, these envelopes at the end of the month. And then I can finally figure out what I need to take out of my savings account to um, pay completely pay off the MacBook. So from my electronics envelope, I have $223. From my rollover, I have an additional $50 as well. So I have those in cash here. So I'm just gonna count that up. So I have 50, 100, 150, 200, 250, 270, 1, 2, 3, 273 total. And um, let me just talk about how much I actually spent on the MacBook. So I spent $767.94. Now the original price of the MacBook was $999, but I got an additional $100 off because I um, am an educator and I use my MacBook for teaching purchases. So just know that if you teach or whatever, you can get the education pricing. It's usually $100 off the original. So that brought it down to $899. And then off of that, my old MacBook that didn't even, didn't even work was still worth money. And that was worth $185 that they gave me in an Apple gift card that I applied to the purchase. So what I actually put on my credit card is $767.94. Now the last column I don't have filled in, this is my credit card rewards. And um, since I did put this on a credit card, you get points for shopping. So um, let me just add up, figure out how much money I'm going to be getting back for cash back for this purchase um, and I'll be right back. Okay guys, I'm back. So for the credit card that I put this on, you get 1.5% cash back and that works out to a total of $11.52. I'll be getting back as a credit um, on my credit card statement. So let me figure out how much we have left over. So we have 790, whoop, 767. That 94 minus 223 for my electronics envelope, minus $50 from rollover, minus 11.52 from my credit card rewards. And that leaves us with $483.42 that I need to pay. Or take out of my savings account is what I really should say. So let's add up how much I have in my variable expenses right now and, you know, see the potential amount of rollover that could also go towards this at the end of the month. So that leaves us with another $135. So let's just say this is, and this is in the best case scenario, guys, that I don't spend any more money out of those envelopes. So we have 483.42 minus 135, and that would leave me with 348 dollars and 52 cents that I will have to take out of my savings account. Now, obviously, that's not ideal, but um, I'd rather go ahead and take the money out of my savings account. So. I don't carry this huge credit card balance um, that'll drop my credit score and dealing with interest. Like I don't wanna do that. So I'd rather just figure out a way in my budget to go ahead and just pay it off. So $348.42 isn't that bad of what I have to take out of 
my savings account. Now, as granted, I don't spend out of those envelopes that I just previously talked about, but, um, you know, I think I'll be able to do that, but, you know, we'll see. So I'm going to be counting on having to take 300, about $350 out of my savings account to finish paying off the computer. So let me go ahead and get this money back in the credit card envelope. So when I take it to the bank, all the money will be there. And another thing that I may do is my second side hustle paycheck that I'm gonna get next week. I may just take that whole thing and put it towards the um, MacBook purchase, but I'm not sure yet. I still wanna build my sinking funds um, if I can help it. Like I don't wanna neglect those just in order to pay off a computer. Um, so I'm thinking about it, but we'll see, you know. We'll just have to see whether I, you know, take that whole check. That'll be another $140. So let's just say I take the whole $140. That's going to leave me with $208 to take out of my savings. But then I won't be putting money in my sinking funds. And I definitely need to be still building those up. So I'm probably not going to do that. Um, now that I'm thinking about it, I'm probably just going to take the money out of my savings account. But anyways, I'm rambling on at this point. Um... I want to thank you guys so, so much for watching the video. Um, I hope you enjoyed and I really hope you have a great rest of your day. No matter where in the world you are, I really hope you have a great rest of your day and a great rest of October. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe and I will see y'all next time. Bye.